This is the active camo invisibility effect, and it's really easy to do. First, you need to film two shots. One shot is a clean plate. Without moving the camera, the second shot should involve your subject. It can be you, it can be a car, it can be anything. Now, let's open up DaVinci Resolve. Here's my shot, and that's my clean plate. So I'm gonna pause, clip that right there, clip out my clean plate. Next, I'm gonna find the rest of the shot that I wanna use. If you did it in two takes, then use your other clip. I'm gonna start the second clip right here, and I'm gonna trim that. So now, let's bring our two clips together. With the clean plate selected, come up here to the clip and come down to freeze frame. Then drag it all the way over until it matches up with the clip below it. Highlight both of those clips, right click, select new fusion clip, go into fusion. Now, as some of you know, when you start making fusion clips, DaVinci Resolve now adds a couple extra merge nodes, a background node. So in case you've seen my previous tutorials, just delete all of them and just start fresh. So I'm gonna delete the background node and I'm gonna figure out what clip is what. So that is not my clean plate. This clip is empty and this clip is my clean plate. So I'm gonna rename this one real quick, clean plate. I'm gonna rename this one to stomp. Okay, so first you wanna connect your clean plate to your media out. Let's go ahead and create two viewers. So now we have the right viewer and the left viewer. With the stomp media selected, hold down shift and press spacebar and type in magic mask. Drag the magic mask up into this viewer node. Go ahead and select the subject. I'm gonna come up here to the right hand side, select inspector and select better. And then I'm just going to track backwards and forwards. Once that's done, let's go ahead and select the clean plate node and hold down shift and press spacebar and type in displace. Add the displace node. Next, take the output of the magic mask and connect it to the displace. Let's go ahead and drag our media out into this viewer node here and make it one single viewer. And with the displace node selected, go ahead and turn up the refraction strength. Then turn up the light power. Just a tiny amount though. Turn up the light power to no more than 0.2. With the displace node selected, select this little icon right here and add a new merge node. Then highlight the stomp and the magic mask Hold down Command or Alt on your keyboard and push C to copy. Click anywhere in the node viewer and let's paste by holding down Command or Alt on your keyboard and pushing V to paste those nodes. Take the output of that magic mask and let's connect it to this merge node. You wanna scroll in your timeline and drag the playhead to the point of where you want it to turn on. Right about here is where I want the effect to start. So with the magic mask selected, come up here to the right hand side and click on your inspector. Then select the matte controls. We're going to keyframe the erode and dilate. So I'm gonna select the keyframe here and I'm gonna scroll my clip forward and I want the effect to be turning on all the way up until I put my foot on the ground. Then I'm gonna come up here and play with the erode and dilate. I'm gonna turn it down. Now, as you can see, if you turn it all the way down here, it doesn't cover me fully. So you can actually click on this number and type in a custom amount. I'm gonna type in 0 0.04. Still not far enough, so I'm gonna type in 0 0.09. Awesome. Now once you've been covered fully, you can actually click on this little number that we typed in, and it's really, really sensitive. So you might have to drag quite a bit, but I basically want it to slowly close, and the last little bit should be on this keyframe that we're working on. And right about there, 0 0.5. 5977. It might be different for your video, but you may have to feather it and just test it. So now you can see it's like the cloak is coming on to me. In case you didn't notice, there's a little bit of distortion up until this point around my shoe and around the magic mask. So in order to fix that, come down to the playhead of where the erode and dilate starts. Click on the displace node. We want to keyframe the refraction strength. So click on the keyframe. Let's go ahead and turn it all the way down to zero. Then click here in the node viewer. Using the arrow keys on the keyboard, go one frame forward, and let's go ahead and turn that refraction strength back up. So now we don't have any weird distortion effects around the magic mask. Let's hop back into the edit page to add some secret sauce. What you wanna do is come up here to the left-hand side and select effects. 
then select open effects and type in camera and add the camera shake effect to this clip. By default, it's really strong and overwhelming. So what you can do is come up here to the right hand side and turn down the speed scale. And then what I like to do is also turn down the PTR speed. So then you kind of have like a more natural look to the camera moving. Lastly, this is the secret secret sauce. Click on effects, drag an adjustment clip on top of the fusion clip that we created. Find the point of where you have the action in your camera or when the active camo is becoming active. And right about here is when that starts. I'm gonna trim the adjustment clip to be a really short clip like that. And I'm gonna click on the effects and I'm gonna scroll down and drag on my shake plugin, which you can get linked down in the description. The main shake happens within the middle of the adjustment clip. So drag the middle of the adjustment clip when the active camo is initiated. And boom. Now we have something that looks like that. If you found this video helpful, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video.